CBB's Bedtime Story Hello, I'm Vicky. I love to smile. Do you? Let's smile together. Wow, you look wonderful. Tonight I'm going to tell you a story all about a tiger who has lost his smile and doesn't know how to get it back. It's called Augustus and His Smile and it's by Catherine Rayner. Augustus the tiger was sad. He had lost his smile. So he did a huge tigery stretch and set off to find it. First, he crept under a cluster of bushes. He found a small, shiny beetle. But he couldn't see his smile. Then he climbed to the tops of the tallest trees. He found birds that chirped and called, but he couldn't find his smile. Further and further, Augustus searched. He scaled the crests of the highest mountains where the snow clouds swirled, making frost patterns in the freezing air. He swam to the bottom of the deepest oceans and splished and splashed with shoals of tiny, shiny fish. He pranced and paraded through the largest desert, making shadow shapes in the sun. Augustus padded further and further through shifting sand until pitter, patter, pitter, patter, drip, drop, plop. Augustus danced and raced as rainbows bounced and flew. He splashed through the puddles, bigger and deeper. He raced towards a huge silver blue puddle and saw there, under his nose, his smile. And Augustus realised that his smile would be there whenever he was happy. He only had to swim with the fish, or dance in the puddles, or climb the mountains and look at the world, for happiness was everywhere around him. Augustus was so pleased that he hopped and skipped and jumped away, smiling. I'm so pleased that Augustus found his smile. In fact, he found lots of things that made him smile. As you go to sleep tonight, why don't you think about all the things that make you smile? It's time for me to go, but thanks for joining me. Good night, little smilers, and sweet dreams. For more bedtime stories, head to CBeebies or BBC iPlayer.